I have Stargardt's disease, which is a form of macular degeneration. It's hereditary. It causes the cells in the centre of my retina to die, so I have peripheral vision. I'm classed as legally blind, less than 5% vision. To give you an idea of what I can see or how I see, when I'm looking directly at something, I can't see it. I see a mass of purple and black and green lights. I can only see out of the edges of my eyes, if you like. I was diagnosed with Stargardt's in around 1990. I was 19. Up until that, I had perfect 2020 vision. I was driving, working. It was also at that time where I started to see the lights in the center of my sight. Given that my brother uh, also has this condition, I had an idea that that may be what was happening to me. I called my mum one night in tears saying, I think I have what Max has. She said, no, it's okay. They told us she wouldn't be affected. But I said, no, I know I do. It's not normal. So we went to the same doctors, followed the same process, and I was diagnosed. I am now 44, so I've had Stargardt's disease for 25 years. I'm very fortunate that I've been surrounded by some really supportive and loving people. I've been married now for 25 years. I have a son who's 19. Good job. I've been with Westpac for 25 years. Having supportive people around me, I think, has helped me adapt to my condition so well. Uh, not only in my personal life, but in my work life, I've met some incredible people. My current team are just awesome. I've been working with Alicia for just on two years. Through working with Alicia, she's actually given us an enormous amount of awareness on how we can actually support people in the workplace. We've learnt more from her, I think, than uh, she learns from us. I think the way that we work together, we've developed a really good relationship. She's helped me with a lot of things. Whenever she needs assistance, I give her assistance. She taught me many things and has been a mentor to me in a lot of ways. One of the great things about Alicia is her adoption of technology. Some of the technology I really find helpful is anything that has magnification and at work, um, I have magnification on my screen, of course. My favourite thing in the world that I discovered was the iPhone. The accessibility features on my iPhone and the apps on there, I can look up train timetables, I can plan trips, I can message people, I don't have to ring them, I can listen to books, I can search the internet. It's just a whole new world. With my technology, my iPhone, Google Maps, they tell me where I'm going all the time so I don't need to worry about looking at street signs. I can walk into a cafe quite happily on my own and feel confident that I can read a menu and order. Technology can be challenging, but it can change your life. Once you start using it, it becomes so much easier and the independence in the world it opens to you, it's just amazing. I know what my limitations are and I think that's important too. Um, you need to know when to ask for help. If I still want to have a normal life and enjoy the things that I like to do, then I just need to find different ways to do them. And I've never not done anything. I may not be able to do things the way sighted people can, but I don't let that stop me. 